It's 11 o'clock. Yeah. 
shall be thy name. And he called his name Israel. And God said unto him, I'm God Almighty, be fruitful and multiply. A nation and a company of nations shall be of thee, and kings shall come out of thy loins. Remember, Exodus the fourth chapter, 22nd and 23rd verses. 
and thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord, Israel is my son, even my first one. And I say unto thee, Let my son go, that he may serve me. And if thou refuse it, let him go, behold, I'll slay thy son, even thy first one. Remember, Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee. And then we shall be the true Israel of the God. Isaiah, the 43rd chapter, first through the seventh verses. But now thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee, and through the rivers they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flames come upon thee. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia, and Seba for thee. Since thou wast precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable, and I have loved thee. Therefore, will I give men for thee, and people for thy life. Fear not, for I am with thee. I bring thy seed from the east, and gather thee from the west. I will say unto the north, Give up, and to the south, Keep not back. Bring my son from the side, my daughters from the ends of the earth. Even everyone that is called by my name, for I have created him for my glory, I formed the gate I have made him. Remember. Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee, and then we shall be the true Israel's of God. Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, 28 to the 28 verses. And the sticks were upon their right and shall be in their hand before their eyes. And say unto them, Thus said the Lord God, Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen, whether they be gone. We will gather them on every side and bring them into their own land. I will make the one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel. Members, Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee, and then we shall be the true Israel's of God. And one king shall be king to them all, and they shall be no more true nation. Neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms anymore at all. Neither shall they be the neither shall they defile themselves any more with their idols, nor with their detestable things, nor with any of their transgressions. But I will save them out of all their dwelling places when they have sinned, and will cleanse them. So shall it be my people, and I will be their God. Remember, Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee, and then we shall be the true Israel's of God. And David, my servant, shall be king over them, and they all shall have one shepherd. They shall also walk in my judgment, and observe my statutes, and do them. And they shall dwell in the land that I have given unto Jacob my servant, wherein your fathers have dwelt. And they shall dwell therein, even they and their children and their children's children forever. And my servant David shall be their prince forever. Remember, Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee. And then we shall be the true Israel's of God. Moreover, I'll make a covenant of peace with them. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them. And I will place them and multiply them and will set my sanctuary in the midst of them forevermore. My tabernacle also shall be with them. Yea, I'll be their God, and they shall be my people. And the heathen shall know that I, the Lord, do sanctify Israel, whom my sanctuary shall be in the midst of them forevermore. Remember, Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee, and then we shall be the true Israel's of God. Isaiah, the 45th chapter, 16 and 17 verses. Acts the 13 chapter, 22nd and 23rd verses. Romans the 11 chapter, 26th verse. Galatians the 6th chapter, 15th and 16th verses. They shall be ashamed and also confounded, all of them. They shall go into confusion together that are making for vital. But Israel shall be saved and Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded, world without end. Members, Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee. And then we shall be the true Israel of God. And when he had removed them, he raised up unto them David to be their king, to whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, who shall fulfill all my will. Of this man, see that God is cutting to his from his grave, but Israel is saving Jesus. Remember, Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee. And then we shall be the true Israel of God. And so all Israel shall be saved as it is written. There shall come out of Zion the deliverer and shall turn away and God and is from Jacob. Remember, Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee. 
and then we shall be the true Israel's God. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but a new creature. And as many years walk according to this rule, peace be on them, and mercy, and upon the Israel of God. Amen. And then we shall be the true Israel of God. Let's all keep our minds on the King of all Israel and repeat after me as we go through the prayer. God, God of Israel, there is no God like unto thee. And thy name is great and shall and must be honored by all the true Israels of God. Help us to so die from this world and ourselves, that thy kingdom can freely come to us. Help us to so be dead to the world and ourselves, that we might be freely willing for thy will to be done, both in our bodies and spirit. Help us to so love thee, that it will only be thy will to deliver us from all that thou hatest, and lead us only to that that thou lovest. Give us in Jija, by will and way, each day, as we're able to receive it. All the kingdom are thine. And if we love thee, thou will freely give and bless us with and in them, and all powers in thine hand. And if we love thee, thou will freely give thy power to us. Help us to so love thee that we can be the true Israels of God. For thou hast faith, salvation, and Zion. For Israel's thy glory. These are the blessings we ask in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Selection from the choir.
Mother Charles Adam Smith, dear ye heart. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, King of all Israel, to read the lesson for this morning. The theme is Repent and Live. And the lesson is found in St. Luke 17, chapter, the first through the fifth verse. And the subject's in the third verse. And it reads as follows. Then said he unto the disciples, It is impossible that offenses will come, but woe unto him through whom they come. It were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and he cast into the sea than that he should offend one of these little ones. Take heed to yourself. If thy brother trespass against thee, rebuke him. And if he repent, forgive him. And if he trespass against thee seven times in a day, and seven times in a day turn again to thee, saying, I repent, thou shalt forgive him. And the apostle said unto the Lord, Increase our faith. And again, the subject in the third verse. Take heed to yourselves. If thy brother trespass against thee, rebuke him, and if he repent, forgive him. And may the God of Israel add a, bleeding, uh, add a blessing to the reading of the scriptures. Today, we will have our lesson open by Dr. Peggy Hare and witnessed by myself. to the Holy Father, King of all Israel. Thanking the God of Israel for my life, I thank him for your life. I count it a privilege as well as a blessing just to come before you. Just to speak on a, um, a lesson. We, we just to speak on the lesson. Um, could you read the lesson for me, please? The, the third verse. Yeah. And basically, this lesson, it's Jesus talking to his disciples. And we, you know, even though he's talking to our, his disciples, if we want to bring it up to this day, we can also put ourselves in that place in reference to the fact that you, you have to be careful. People can come to you the wrong kind of way. They really, really can. And you have to be, really, really be careful how you make your deliverance because 
if you don't if you don't be careful, you can stir the whole thing up and make things a lot worse. But the, that lesson says, take heed to yourself. If what? Okay, so if somebody do you wrong, you rebuke means that you can criticize, you can, you know, give with them, you know. Uh, we can say to this day, we can say, um, um, I, I can, I, I, I'm going to check you, okay? But the thing of the matter is how you do it, okay? People, you don't have to take anything you don't want off of people, but it's the way you correct them, okay? So. Um, you can correct people, and if people realize they are wrong and have done you wrong and admit it and repent, then you and I should ought to forgive them, don't hold it against them, let it go, get past it, and get go on a higher level. That's all that simple way of saying, you know. So if anybody comes wrong, wrong to you and come across to you the wrong way, yeah, you can check them. Be careful how you, you carry yourself and check them. And if they come, if they realize they was out of order with you, then let it go, be happy, and grow. I think. All right, you give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, to be a witness to the lesson. We thank Madam Peggy for opening the lesson and to witness to what she has said. We all stand. <laughs> Thank the God of Israel for seeing the king, the queen here in the service. And to uh, be a, a witness to the lesson, as Madam Peggy was saying, we have to learn to forgive and forgive from the heart. And when you forgive from the heart, that means that you are forgiven for real, not just saying I forgive. And then next thing you know, you're still holding on to that grudge against that person. Because in order for you to live, you got to repent. We got to love one another. And in order for us to love one another, we have to be able to forgive those that we feel may hurt us in any kind of way. And that's why it says we have to be careful of our words that we use because words will do more harm than anything. And if you uh, carry a bird, it's just like the lesson was talking about the milestone, millstone wore around your neck. That's, in other words, that's like carrying a burden. If I'm going to be forever not forgiving a person, that's a burden that I'm carrying. And what good is us telling us to take our burdens to the Lord and leave them there if we're going to still hold on to hatred and malice against one another? Everybody got to learn how to love one another, but you're going to go run into those that may not understand the act of uh, loving and serving one another. So we have to be able to forgive those because they are in the process of learning. We're in the process of learning, but we know how to, should know how to forgive and to love one another. Because this is all the lesson and the uh, theme is saying this month, repent and live. And we know in order for us to live, we got to repent, we got to forgive, and above all, we have to show love and kindness toward one another. And I hope you got in the thought. And at this point, the floor is open for anyone that want to make a uh, comment or testimony on the lesson. You have three minutes, and I thank you. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, to speak on the theme on the lesson of repent. First of all, you got to forgive yourself. There are things that you've done that you're not proud of, 
That's a burden you're carrying. You're not forgiving yourself. How can the God of Israel forgive you if you won't forgive yourself? So let us do inventory. Inventory before we start responding and let anything come up and come out. You just can't say and do anything you want to do. You must have rules and regulations. Your foundation, if your foundation is strong, you'll be strong. Foundation is weak, then you've got a weak foundation. But doing inventory, you would want to better yourself. The better you are, the less you have to forgive you others for. Because you know they don't know. It says forgive them for they know not what they do. So, first got to come into a knowledge of being what repent means. And first start with self, and then you can reach out to others and maybe be an example to others and show them where they don't have to suffer. Why suffer when someone else has done it? And they know how to get over it and get through. Mm. Repent. Forgive. Forgive everything and everyone that has did, that you thought, that you thought did you wrong. It may not have been so. So let us be mindful of the words we Man. use. Let us be mindful of how we treat each other. Because truly, what we put out is what's going to come back to us. I drew my mind within myself and I've been really being attentive to myself. All right. And the things that uh, I was doing, some of them the God of Israel has blessed me, I'm not doing no more. And some of them I thought I never would stop doing. And uh, I can feel pretty good. Amen. I'm not going to go too far past pretty good. Because, <laughs> you know, you never know if. Uh, <laughs> when it might not be there in place for you, you know, uh, something might happen, you know, you might go back off again, but I thank the God of wisdom that I'm attentive to it. Now that I can uh, acknowledge it and then I know that it's an issue, right. I can work with it right. until right. I get it right. right. And, uh, you know, I thank the God of wisdom for that. And I have um, <laughs> a testimony. I don't really want to go into details, but uh, it was this person that's been in my life you know, like when I first met this person, you know, they didn't really care too much about me, you know. But I loved them anyway. And I thank the God of Israel for my mother because she put that in me. She put that in us. She had eight children. And uh, she raised a, a single parent. And uh, she put that in us, you know, love one another. As long as you love one another and you hold on to one another, then that love will manifest. And uh, it manifested. It manifested in me because I didn't necessarily want to do it, y'all. Yeah, but my spirit in me, the God of Israel in me, would not allow me not to do it. All right. So I say, when you feel like you're so down, out, and depressed, and this, and this, and that, and that, just keep working on it. The God of Israel, he will deliver. And I thank you.
three minutes. Now I'll call my closing speaker, Ambassador Coffey. Arise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. All right. Uh, to take heed for ourselves. Like if I'm in down south Montgomery, Alabama. Uh, uh, I will meet an old man who will tell me, look here. Say, so take heed, because something is coming. You know, we are coming from different backgrounds, and nobody is perfect. And if I should explain something to somebody, that's on my corner. If somebody should explain him or herself to another person, that's on the corner. You listen to, but let's be real. Why I'm saying this, when Israel had asked uh, Peter, said, Peter, do you love me? He said, yeah, I love you. Peter, do you love me? He said, yeah, I love you. The third time, Israel asked Peter, Peter, do you love me? He said, you know, I love you. know, Peter was having an attitude there. Right there. And I, I wonder if uh, Israel had asked Peter the fourth, the fifth, the seventh time, that was going to be a different story altogether. And it's, it's a spirit in each and every one of us. You think about it. It's a spirit in each and every one of us. So the bottom line is that let God of Israel have mercy upon us. Let his, his grace and mercy be abundant in our spirit. That is the only thing that we can, we can do. Because, you see... <laughs> It's, it's not complicated, but it's so complex in a way that everyone is, uh, is entitled to his own belief. Oh, everyone is all right, I'm this, I'm that. No, you step on the person's feet, not even the third time. And you know what? It doesn't matter where, wherever your, your spirituality is. So it's a spirit. That's what the apostles and uh, 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 the disciples uh, ask. Uh, the Lord, to increase their faith. It's all about faith. Because you don't know who, who is offending somebody. And you don't know who is so, uh, saying good things about that. But it's all about you because salvation is personal. You know? So let God of Israel put love, true love in our hearts. It's only by his grace alone. It's only by his grace alone. You know, it, it, it's a, this is no joke. We are here in spiritual Israel church, and everything must be uh, 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 in the genesis of the spiritual. And the spirit don't die. And I thank God that our bishop has told us that leave folks alone. Leave people alone, because you don't know who is thinking about what. But what is from the heart? Which is the heart. Thank you. Being thankful for my closing speaker. And now this brings this portion of the service to an end. I'd like for the congregation to stand as we sing our congregation, I mean our mission song led by uh, Evangelist Dennis Foley and Helen Tiny Kinnebrew. Oh, in the day.
service song with two, our assistant chairman, Dickie James Shepherd, hearing him. <laughs> I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, being very thankful to be here this morning at another Sunday morning service, and being thankful to see each and every one of you out. At this time, we're not going to prolong the time. I'm going to turn the further service over to the chairman here, this is number one, Trustee Andre Harris. Surely I rise, giving honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. Thank God this is my life. Thank God this is for you and your life. Thank God it was for the man of God's generation, Bishop Bobby Davis, the king of all Israel. Thank God it was for the queen of Israel. Queen, Elder Brad, Mother Vengeance, Gloria Davis. Thank God it was for Deacon James Shepherd. Thank God it was for uh, Mother Alice Smith and Mother Shirley Simpson running such a beautiful devotional service. Thank God it was for you speaking on a lesson or testifying, whatever part you played. At this time, we ask Deacon to cover the doors of the minister's office. We call forth our youth instructor. We're going to call Sister Renee Hill, be our youth instructor. Here you are. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, to be the youth instructor today. Um, I ask Deacon Andre, could I be the youth instructor today for a reason? To speak with the youth. These cell phones and the technology that we have today are dangerous. I want you all to be aware, these really are for emergency purpose, like when you're out and you're calling your parent and saying, I'm on my way home, or Parents, I'm asking you to get some type of poll. I don't know if you all are aware of the 18-year-old that came up missing from each East Point, Michigan. That's an ex-coworker of mine's daughter. She thought that she was going with her cousin. The mother thought that the daughter was going somewhere with her cousin. The cousin said she never saw the daughter. The daughter been missing since June, January the 5th now. She texted her mom and said, I'm on my way home. But if we get out of this, this here and pick up the phone, I have three children. When I hear my children's voice, I can tell what's going on. If they're happy, if they're sad, if they need something, if something's wrong. I can tell in that voice. You can't tell that with this. These technologies are dangerous. Don't say you're going somewhere and you're not going where you're right. say you're going. Right. We get up here every Sunday, every Tuesday, every Friday and say, stay away from drugs. Don't eat things, don't intent things in your mouth, smoke, inhale, anything that you're not aware of what you're intaking. Because people, believe it or not, are jealous. Your friend that you see every day could be jealous of the clothes that you wear, could be jealous that you got an iPhone and they got a whatever the cheap phone is that they call now. Friends are, because you meet them today, don't mean that they your friends. Right, right. Don't mean that they have your best interest in right. heart. We are taught that that spirit in us is the God of Israel that speaks to us. When you're out and about and your God of Israel is speaking to you, hear. Hear what is saying to you. Be cautious of the people that you are around. Because everyone is not out here for your best interest. Regardless if it's a friend, regardless if it's a cousin. Sometimes it might even be your own mom or dad. Believe it or not. Mothers are jealous of their daughters. Fathers are jealous of their sons. Stepdads are jealous of the kids because the mama giving the kids more in, um, interest in them. So be careful who you will. Don't text your parents and say, I'm on my way. Call mom, I'm on my way. Dad, I'm on my way. Mom, I'm in the car with so-and-so. That's when you text. When you're scared and you can't call because you're scared what they're going to say, text mom, I need help, something. Keep that location on. The location is on for somebody to identify where you at. We know you're being sneaky when you turn your location off. You, we know you don't want us to know where you at when you turn in your location off. So keep that location on. Be aware who you're around. Remember, tell, be honest. It might get you in trouble, but it might also save your life. Okay.
and we're going to talk about that special amount of superior medical program on the Claire Williams here. Yeah. Truly, I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, to be your instruction and mother this morning. Yeah. To the visitors, we would like to welcome you to the spiritual visitation of Zami. I want you to know this is your home, and you're very, very welcome. And to the families of Israel, I would like to say to you, it's time to take heed to ourselves. When service is going on, we talk so loudly. And you have to remember that your voice carry, and it carry over the one that's speaking. So they say, do unto others as you would like for them to do unto you. So when you're up speaking, you want people to listen. Yeah. Give them the same courtesy. Yeah. Love one another. Think about it. We, re we don't realize how loud we speak. We can be sitting here and I can hear you more than the speaker that's speaking. And that's not right. Yeah. It's time for us to take heed and learn how we're acting because people are looking at us. Mm -hmm. And we are supposed to be, and I say supposed to be, the light of the world. Amen. How can you be the light of the world and your light is not shining? Mm -hmm. Let us pray. Our Father, Our Father, which art in heaven, which are in heaven hallowed be thy name, be thy, name. Thy, kingdom come, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, will be done. In, earth, in earth as it is in heaven. Is in heaven. Give, us this day. give us this day our daily bread. Our daily bread. Give us our debts as, as we give our debts. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. It's time to ask everyone to stand as we clean of all of Queen Elder Brad, but thank you, glory, thank you, God's name. to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. Once again, Israel, we want to thank the Lord God of Israel for another opportunity to be able to say thank you, Lord God of Israel. You woke me up this morning. You watched over us through the night. You're such a good and merciful God. Yes. And we want to always remember there's a lot of things that we don't have time for. We tell ourselves that. But we got time to stop and thank the God of Israel for what he's already done. It doesn't take a long time. You can be moving if, you, if you're on your way somewhere. You can talk to the God of Israel anytime, anywhere. Learn to talk to the God of Israel within oh, yes. yourself. You don't have to wait till you get to church to pray. Okay? I'm very serious about that. Because in, in, in times like these, and in the, in the things that we're, being, that we're experiencing and learning about, we need to know about the presence and power of prayer. So don't think because you're a child or a youngster that you don't have to need to pray. We all need to know how to pray. And I'm not talking about get on your knees for two or three hours or go through a long something that you can't remember all of it. You, you, you can say, thank you, Lord God of Israel, for waking me up this morning. You can thank him for taking care of you if you going back and forth to work or to school or whatever you're doing. Yeah. It's worth it. Stop. Mm -hmm. Take a take the time. And I'm not necessarily saying stop moving, but stop and thank the God of Israel yes. because you're not doing it on your own. That's right. You are not waking yourself up. Right. Mm. You are not protecting yourself from all the hurt, the evil, the danger that's going on around us nowadays. We need the Lord God of Israel in our lives. Yes. Let's remember that. Amen. Okay? All right. Prayer changes things. Amen. Oh, yes. And that's the truth. Oh, yes. But you won't know it if you don't pray. Oh, Thank you.
that I gave those good remarks. And I also very thankful for the words of our instruction of Mother, our Spirit, Mother, Brad, and Fair Williams. I'm also very thankful for the words of our youth instructor. As you take the keys to those instructions that we just heard, Amen. say to the members, our uh, week's meeting is upon us. We ask you to pay your pledges. Men's $200, ladies $150. We're asking you uh, to come on down here and help us get the auditorium together. We're here every day, at least at 10 o'clock. So if you'd like to come down and help, it's, it's something for everyone to do, if you want to come down and do it. So we're asking you to please come down here. This is our church that we don't take care of and nobody else will. And you're not going to call nobody from number two, number eight, Jack and all to come do it. This is our church. And we plan to be upstairs uh, third Sunday in February. We plan to be upstairs. So it's a lot of work to be done. And uh, it's enough for everybody to do a little something if you want to. Uh, <laughs> I say that because I'm down here every day. Really, I am, you know. And um, it's a lot to be done. You know, sometimes I look at it and I'm like, dang, yeah. You know, but this is our church. And if we don't take care of it, nobody else will. But I thank those that have been coming down. We ask for more to please come down. Like I say, we'll be down there every day this week because time is running short. We got to put a carpet down. We got to get painting done. We got to get the floor done. And time is running short. Uh, enough being said about that. At this time, we're going to call forth our mission head and have a few remarks. Yeah. Um, Reverend Mother Barbara Freeman, he has I to give out to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, thank the God of Israel for my life and the life of my brothers and sisters, and for you, you, and especially for you. I want to thank our own uh, Mother Shirley Simpson and Mother uh, Alice Smith for so beautifully dutifully running the mission uh, devotional service every Mission Sunday. And uh, I've always said to them that they know they can rotate that out to someone else who would like to do it. But in the meantime, since no one is volunteered, they get up there and just do it willingly. So I want to give them a hand clap for keeping that going for me. And I want to thank all of you uh, that assist them when they ask you to do the prayer to Israel, prayer to Israel opening, read the, the, the lesson or, or whatever it is that they ask you to do. Thank you. And I want to thank all those that I have asked to pray on this day that you dutifully do it. You know, I'm, I'm just so thankful. I, I just, I'm just bubbling over. And I want to say to the mission, yes, things might be a little slow right now, uh, for wanting to do some of the things that we want to do with some of our loved ones and um, members that aren't able to come to church, but that's okay. Yeah. That, you know, this pandemic can't stop everything because yeah. we can put some things together. We're working on some things, so we're going to be calling some meetings probably after the February rally. We don't want to do too much right now because we've got the church to take care of and get ready for our February rally. Yeah. And I also want to say to the ladies, please, please, please don't rush out. You see where Mother Claire is sitting? Right after service. We're going to have our meeting for our Sunday, for the third Sunday in February, so we'll know exactly what we're doing, what we need to donate for food, so it can be a success. So I just thank all of you who do that, what you do for the mission here at Temple Number One, at the various temples out there in Zoom land. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, my own brother, my little brother, friend, for those beautiful words. Also, to say to the men, immediately after service, we will have a short meeting upstairs in the uh, secretary's room, immediately after service. And this time, I'm going to call for the choir, for selection, and first service, and church in hands of the minister in charge. Mm -hmm. No, um, I think it's supposed to do a prayer. Oh, choir, then church service over to the minister in charge.
I've been traveling from place to place, singing your praise, trying to do your way. I've been through trying and strong. I can't stop now. Go to work on. I got to keep on. Doing what I'm doing for the Lord. Oh, all right. I got to keep on doing what I'm doing for the Lord. Now I've been traveling from place to.
Black that's beautiful selection. And that's a period mother singing from the desk of her heart. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Got to keep on doing what I'm doing for the Lord. I'm thankful also to see my God daughter Rashida here today and her family. I had a dream about her last night. And to see her walk down the stairs really made me, my heart feel good. At this time, I'm going to turn the to, to the hands of the minister in charge of Reverend Mother Bob Freeman here. Amen. Amen. All right, everybody, brother, we're going to take that choir for that song. And with Claire for singing, Lord, I got to hear you keep on doing what I'm doing for the Lord. And at this present time, it gives me great pleasure to introduce the sum and announce to others that our prayer this morning is going to be done by our own Bishop Houston Page. And we're going to ask the congregation to sing with uplifted voices as we get prepared for our prayer. Um, pass me not, O oh gentle Savior. Oh, of Israel, we come with bowed heads, we come with thanksgiving in our hearts, we come saying thank you for your many blessings that thou hast bestowed upon us. And while we come, we come thanking you for your grace, which have kept us nurtured us and enabled us to move on up the high lord god of israel early this morning ah uh, you stepped in that bedroom of ours and touched this old body and been our moments to roll on a little while longer we thank you for these who are standing in the midst of you today. Somebody here need a little safe power. Somebody here uh, need more love in their heart. Oh, Lord, 
Thank you for the king of all Israel. Thank you for the queen of Israel. Thank you for the missionary bow. Yeah, Lord, thank you for taking care of us all the year long. Able us to walk into a new year and do new things that thou hast signed our hand to do. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, thank you for my journey right now. Thank you. Oh, Lord. I just want to thank you. Thank you for the missionary bowl. Thank you for the deacon bowl. Thank you for the nurses bowl. All of the auxiliaries of the church. I want to say thank you. As I close, I ask that I would bless the president of the missionary board. Give us strength, Lord, ah, that she may go forth and build a good missionary board. In the name of the God of Israel, let us all say amen. Amen.
Now look, I'm thanking the God of Israel we're here in the land of the living, all right? Because the sun is still shining so happy. Y'all act like you're up in here, okay? I mean, I mean, clap your hands. Act like you're glad to be alive, okay? Now, you know, if, if Madame Esther was here, she'd probably do something like this. So, I want you to know that.
that did not get up this morning. Look at you and I. Tell me, ain't the God of Israel been good? Put them hands together. Let's make some noise up in here. You know, we need to take inventory. Go back and Mother Rose used to say, you may have had one dish rag last year. At least you got two of them this year. You ought to thank the God of Israel. And I'm happy to say I may not have everything I want, but guess what? He supplies my every need. It's just good to be here. There are many that wish they had the opportunity that you and I had. Some right now are suffering with COVID. And look at you and I. We got these masks on, but we're able to breathe, all right? Some on the ventilators got to have the ventilator breathing for them. And you and I, we're still here. Here's what we need. That's trying to get us to repent and turn and live. Thanking the God of Israel for the first lady. Thanking the God of Israel for this wonderful staff of heavenly hosts that are sitting behind me. Thanking the God of Israel for you. A lot of God's miracles, not just one. And we thank him for that. We're going to ask, give us more strength and more power so that we can become the true Israels of God. Read it. Give me St. John 7.38. From St. John 7.38, you know, Deuteronomy 6 and 4. Mark 12.29. Isaiah 61.1. Might hit a little bit of Deuteronomy 18.18. Then we want you to go to that subject, St. Luke 17.3. We definitely want you to hit last week's subject, Ezekiel 1830. Yeah, yeah. You know, that one, I wish we could have held on to that a little bit longer. That might help some of us consider our ways. We might go to 2 Corinthians, the 7th chapter and the 10th verse, you know. Um, because, you see, when I was coming up in the spiritualism church in this army, Sundays belonged to the king of all Israel. And it it was an honor and a privilege that he would let little of us get up in front of him. And since he's gracious and he does that, it don't mean for me to get up and act like I ain't got no manners, okay? It don't mean for me to get up and act like I ain't got no manners. So we're going to use us and let's get on out the way that Jesus show us the way that we should go. That's in St. John 7 38 that Jesus had said but since I'm up here talking to you I'm saying it he that is on me as the scripture had said out of his belly shall flow flow. rivers of living water I find that if you believe on the words that I'm giving you just like the scripture next scripture. Then from you, your demonstration should be peace or health at why he said in Deuteronomy 6 and 4, now, in order for you to repent uh-huh. and live, Hello. the first thing you got to do is hear, O Israel, Realize that the Lord our God is one Lord. Read on that now. And that thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, all thy soul, and with all thy might. And I believe he said these words. I command you what? Not tomorrow. 
I'm talking about January 16, right 2022. All right. Bishop Barber's command us this day to keep these words rooted and grounded within us. Yeah, because yeah. why? We're living in perilous times. Uh -huh. That's why he said in St. Mark 12, 29, when the Son came along, Jesus answered him. First of all, the commandments is saying the same thing so they must not have heard back there in the beginning. Yeah. So he brought it back again, told him in Jesus' time, I still need you to hear, O Israel. Realize that the Lord our God yeah. is just one Lord, and that thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, all thy soul, all thy mind, and all thy strength. This is the first commandment. And the reason why I want you to hear, O Israel, because Isaiah left on record in Isaiah 61 1 that the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. I don't know about you, but the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek, to bind up the brokenhearted, to free all them that's captive. That's why I need to tell you to turn from your wicked ways and live in. And this is what I also want you to do. He left no record in Deuteronomy 1818. I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren, like unto thee. Him shall he hear. I'm going to put my words in his mouth, and he going to command all that I tell him. And whosoever will not hear that prophet, God of Israel is going to require unto him. You ain't got to look far. The prophet is sitting right here in our midst. That's my Joel left on record. He shall know that I'm in the midst of Israel. I am the Lord your God. And else my people shall never be ashamed. All right. And now, Luke was telling, talking to the disciples. He said, what? Take heed to yourself. Leave her alone. Leave him alone. Charity begins at home and then spreads abroad. Take heed to yourself. If thy brother trespass against thee, rebuke him. All that means is bring him into the knowledge. You saw my foot right there. You didn't have to step on it. I'm going to forgive you this time, but I'd advise you not to try it again. Bring him into the knowledge. Rebuke him. Read on there. And if he repent, and if he repent forgive him. Forgive. And if he trespasses against thee seven times, seven times, sometimes it's ignorant. And all ignorant mean that they just don't know. And they'll do it again and again. Well, if you do it seven times in a day, in a day and, and you know that's intentionally seven times in one day, you still got to forgive him. Because one writer left on record, if you don't forgive your father, your brother, of their trespasses, neither will your father forgive you of yours. He even left on record, when you stand, pray, forgive. Well, without this, you can't see God. That's why. Record. And about the that he had done wrong. Uh, and in that on record, he said, I acknowledge yeah. my transgressions right. and my sins are ever before me. But then he left on record in the 10th verse. He said, Lord, create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. Don't cast me away. I know I've done wrong, but it's me, oh Lord, and I'm standing in the need of prayer. Can I get a witness out there? Somebody know that when you told the God of Israel, here I am, I know I've done wrong. I'm not much, but I want you to search me, Lord. Turn your life from heaven on my soul. If you find anything that should not be, take me out and strengthen me. I, I want to be right. I, I want to be saved. I've I got to be made whole. Can I get a witness out there? That's my Jose left on record and Jose O. 
old one. Here's what I want you to hear the word of the Lord. Ye children of Israel, because the Lord had a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Because there's no truth, no mercy, no knowledge of God in the land. You won't repent from your evil ways by swearing and lying, killing and stealing, and committing adultery. That's why they break out in blood, touching blood. But God seen that we are straight off in the idolism. That's why he called his son out of Egypt. Uh, up here in 2022, uh, he called his son uh, by the way of Alabama. Uh, came down through Saginaw. Uh, and here he is right here today. Uh, and he sent uh, to the house of Israel. Uh, but tell me, God, uh, how come you didn't go yourself? Uh, because he said the name is 37. Uh, surely uh, the Lord God would do nothing uh, but reveal his secret uh, unto his servant, the prophet. Uh, tell me, uh, where'd you send your prophet at then? I, I find he said uh, in 33, 7, uh, thou son of man, uh, I feel my help in the good. Uh, I said, the old watchman, I come to the house of Israel. I, therefore, I, you got to hear the word the man's stop and warn them for me. I, what is he warning you? I, Acts 13. I, Acts, Acts Ezekiel. I, 33, 7. I, 18, 37. I, cast away from you I, all your transgressions. I, whereby you have transgressed. I, make you a new heart. And a new spirit. Why will you tell how to this? I have no pleasure in the death of him that dies, said the Lord God. Wherefore, turn yourself. Stop doing what you're doing. Don't just say it from your heart, mouth. Mean it from your heart. Stop doing what you're doing. Ain't no need. And lifting up the heaven uh, to bring Christ down from above. Uh, ain't no need. Uh, and go to the deep. Uh, bring him up again from the dead. Uh, the word is not the uh, It's in your mouth. Uh, and it's in your heart. Uh, that is the word of faith uh, which we preach. Uh, that's why Michael said uh, we are living uh, in the last days. Uh, and it's going to come to pass. Uh, at the mountain top of the Lord, uh, we go with him. Uh, it's gonna be established uh, at the top of the mountain. Uh, it's gonna be exalted. Uh, I feel pretty good, y'all. Uh, above the hills, uh, nation gonna flow into my many nations. Uh, shall come and say, uh, let us go uh, to the mountain top of the Lord, uh, to the house of what uh, the God of Jacob. Uh, let's see. Then, uh, what is the name uh, of the house of Jacob? Uh, Genesis 28 20. Uh, Jacob out of our said, uh, If God be with me, uh, keep me in the way I go. Uh, give me bread to eat uh, and rings to put on uh, when I come again uh, to my father's house in peace. Uh, then shall the Lord uh, be my God. Uh, and this stone, uh, y'all don't hear me. Uh, and this stone, uh, which I set for pillar, uh, shall be God's house. Uh, let's see, uh, what was the stone named in? Uh, I heard him say, uh, that this is 49 uh, and 24. Uh, more bold and strength, uh, armed of his hands were made strong uh, by the hands of the mighty God of Jacob. Uh, this is the shepherd. Uh, the stone is Israel. Uh, Paul picked it up uh, at Oh, eleven. Uh, this is the same stone. Uh, Set at naughty builders. Uh, it's become the head of the corner. Uh, ain't no salvation uh, in any other. Uh, because there's no other name uh, under heaven. Uh, given among men. Uh, Whereby we must be saved. Uh, he said it again. Uh, so all Israel uh, shall be saved. Uh, as it is written. Uh, Jeremiah testified uh, in 31-1 uh, at the same time 
Say the Lord, well, I be the God of the families of Israel. They shall be my people. Who's your people? Matthew 2 6. Thou best hand in the land of Judah. I'm not the least from the prince of Judah. Out of thee shall come a governor. Hey, that shall rule my people Israel. Who is Israel? Amos 9 7. Are you not? Children of the Ethiopians and the Neo. Oh, children of Israel, saith the Lord. Don't you know the hundred division of Psalm? Know me that the Lord, He is God. It is He that made us, and not we ourselves. We are His people, the sheep of His pasture. In my conclusion, I'm going to tell you, turn yourselves and live ye. Then you can say, like John the Revelator said, I saw a new heaven and a new earth. Come on, because the first heaven, first earth that passed away, there will no more see. I did this. Can I get a witness out there? I saw the new Jerusalem coming down from God. Out of the mouth of man, prepared as a bride, adorned for a husband. I heard a great voice out of me say, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with me, and He gonna dwell with them. They gonna be His people. God Himself shall be with them and be their God. In my conclusion, let's hold on. Let's hold on, hold on, the God's in changing hand. Don't you let nobody turn you around. Israel is the first, Israel is the last. And besides me, there is no God. May the God be the blessing you and you. We want you to continue to sit patient and quiet. Let us receive our assistant pastor, Elder Porto Smith. Hey, hey. Yeah. All right, so good on the Holy Father. The King of all Israel. Truly thank the God who's allowed me to be out here. And truly thank the God who's allowed you to be out here. Let's give Ella Dennis another hand. Truly thank you for the truth of the truth. Get wisdom, get knowledge for all you're getting. We need to get an understanding. And we understand we are God's chosen people. Thank you, God, built us as the pastor of Pontiac Church in our midst. Elder Alice Francis, I'm going to turn the first service to her hand. And then she's going to bring forth the next spoken person. Amen. Shall I rise and give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel? Just being very thankful to be here today, thanking the God of Israel that he allowed you and I to rise. Oh, yeah. Still having to use the activities of our limbs, the oh, blood yeah. is still running warm in our body. And to say that we had a wonderful sermon preached by Elder Dennis Swift. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the word of the Lord. And so I'm being very thankful for my pastor, Bishop Bobby Joe Davis, Mother Glory. Queen of all Israel, his wife, and being very thankful for each and every one of you under the sound of my voice today. Right. Yeah. So we had a beautiful prayer prayed today oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. for the yes, sick and shut in, right. yes, and I yes. received my portion of it. Right. Right. I'm thankful right. to the God of Israel that everything is as well with me as it is. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Feel all right though today. Yeah. 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 Right. I come to get away, uh -huh. and I got one. Yeah. And it's just boiling all over inside yeah. me. Yeah. 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 Right. Right. Now we're going to um, bring to you, and I'm also thankful for the Pontiac members here. Right. All right. I'm thankful for the Pontiac church. Right. All right. Pretty soon we're going to be open. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And we'll be back in our house again. Yeah. And you are cordially invited to come and visit. All right. All right. <laughs> and to say at this time, now I'm going to have a selection from the choir. And the next voice you're going to hear will be Bishop Houston Page. The choir. I was hoping that 
our mother Shelly can go up in the choir and sing, I love the Lord. And the right. bishop Willie, I mean the elders Willie, can go direct and pull. I love the Lord. Cold. 
Amen. Amen. God can't get into you when you got your arms folded. Amen. Let it be free. Amen. And the Lord God of Israel will bless you. We're going to ask the choir to get ready and come back with a good hot number. And then we are going to hear from the man of God. All right. In this generation. All right, choir? We're waiting for you. seeking a wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of a true and living God, in that we came to the house of God. Amen. We're thanking him for our marriage overseer, our assistant overseer, Mr. Page, Pastor Alice, our sister pastor, our queen, each and every one of you. Amen. Thank you for the beautiful message by Ella Dennis. Yeah. Amen. Our mission. Uh, we thank God for our mission and mission here, and all of us that's a, a part of the army of God. Yes. Amen. We thank the God for all good things. Thank you for seeing our, our daughter and grandchildren in. Amen. We're going to have them sing in a minute. Amen. 
We thank him for being just a great God to us all. Plenty to go back. We're going to miss him. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Let us know. I may send somebody. <laughs> Amen. We thank the guy with the for Bishop Mack in his absence. He's uh, went out of town. Funeral business. We wish him Godspeed and make it back safe in town. Amen. Uh, thanking him for just being a good God to us all. Our beautiful lesson. Repent and, and live. Amen. And we're thanking him for remembering brother and sister in Saginaw and, and going through their challenging times. Amen. And the loss of our four uh, sisters and brothers up there. Amen. Over a short period of time. Amen. Life goes on. Amen. And we're in the army of the Lord. Right. Amen. And sometimes we lose soldiers along the way. Amen. Amen. But the war is not over. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. We still must continue to fight to gain the victory, which is life. Amen. Amen. We preach life in the spiritual army. Amen. We don't preach get a religion and prepare to die. Right. Amen. Right. We preach life. Amen. Amen. And we're working to get to God's word so we can live, not after you die, but live now. Amen. And, and, and it is our goal for you and I to live in the kingdom of God right now. Amen. Why spend all this time on the earth waiting to go somewhere to be happy when you can achieve that right now? Amen. And if you happen to lose your fundamental hope, which is the body, amen. We rely that the spirit go back to God who gave it. Right. Amen. 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 But 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 we in the spiritual army do not teach a uh, an escape doctrine. Amen. You're gonna escape into some realm somewhere after you die. When God already gave us life. So why can't we live it now? Amen. You'd be surprised people still looking to go somewhere so they can be happy. What's wrong with now? Amen. I knew I never heard them say you're going to go to heaven and spend some money or get a car. Amen. All I hear is you're going to walk the streets of Jerusalem. Amen. And you're going to see his face. Amen. And you're going to be howdy, howdy, and never goodbye. Amen. Now, you know, sometimes we don't want folks all around us all the time. I'll say us. Amen. Are you talking about going to heaven? <laughs> Amen. So in the spirit of the church of we don't go into that kind of stuff, do we? Amen. We believe in living right now. Amen. And Bishop Haywood said, die when you can't help it. Amen. 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 And you can believe everybody that died couldn't help it. Amen. Amen. So we want to stay here. Amen. But one thing about Israel, if, if you happen to lose your body, you still got hope in Israel. Amen. So the scripture says, Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Amen. And you ain't got to be ashamed. You all can find it world without end. Amen. So we're going to keep on marching on, right? Regardless of what life and death claim, we're going to keep on marching on because God is marching on. Amen. And God never had went to a grave. Amen. Still living. Amen. So God is a spirit. Ain't that right? Everybody have lost loved ones along the way. Amen. But we carry them with us. Amen. 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 I, I feel all right. Amen. Amen. But, 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 but it's, so, so we, we send our prayers and, and, and thoughts and, and to our brothers and sisters up in the northern district. Amen. So we stand with them. Amen. I almost was there this Sunday, too. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But I come on down here. Amen. Amen. Because God is love, ain't it? Yeah. And, and love ain't just talking about it. Love is being about it. Amen. And as I said before, you, you ain't got to wait, wait, wait to get it. Amen. You can have it right now. If you want it right now. Amen. A lot of people don't want it because they want an excuse. Amen. They don't, they don't want to be, be happy and, 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 and love because I got to tell you out first. Amen. Lay my religion down. Right. <laughs> Amen. But we don't teach that stuff in Israel, right? right. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever known a time that we didn't lose bodies? Never. Right? But we're hoping that one day we stop losing bodies. Right. And that's our hope. Amen. Amen. Ain't that right? 
But, but, we, but we realize that bodies sometimes go and bodies come. Amen. They go. Amen. And then they come. Amen. When's the last time you had a baby, ladies? Yeah, man. <laughs> young ones, young ones, young ones. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, I, I know some of y'all don't want to go back. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Well, don't worry. I can't have them. I don't want to go back. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Our daughter, our daughter, I ain't going to tell you your age. <laughs> It's that time now. Right. Amen. But the main point is we teach living. Amen. And every time somebody dies, sometimes I want to question our teaching, our validity. Amen. You're the believer or you don't. Amen. Just because somebody died, that don't stop things. It stop, it stop things in their body. But it was still going on. Ain't that right? Yeah. Amen. And if you want to know where Mr. Tuckin is, Mr. Dixon is, Mr. Hayward is, Mr. Wiley is, look at me. Amen. Cause I stand in the same stead. Amen. 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 The body may not be here, but the spirit still going on. Amen. Amen. Say amen. 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 And and in second reason, let me say to yourself today. Amen. I, I, I got up on another track. Amen. It, it just went through that real quick, didn't it? Amen. amen. Now I changed my mind. <laughs> amen. amen. Leave on me, as the scripture said. Then out of you, out of your bed it shall flow. Rivers of living water. Amen. In other words, something happened inside of you. Now here's what we believe in Israel. It's St. John, 2 Corinthians 13, 5. Examine yourselves. Whether you believe in the right thing. Prove your own selves. Know you not your own selves. How that Jesus Christ is in you. You're looking for somebody that's already in you. Amen. You want to die and go to somebody that's already in you. Amen. We don't teach that stuff in Israel, do we? Amen. And if Jesus Christ is in you, he's in you through the spirit. Amen. Not in the flesh. Amen. Ain't that right? Amen. Amen. So, so, so Israel got it all covered. If we believe our teaching, amen, we got to believe our teaching. And our teaching don't change just because trouble comes along the way. Amen. amen. Ain't that right? Yeah, it, well, it is. Let me, let me, let my daughters, my grandchildren saying, because I was, <laughs> Amen. I ain't gonna be a man. I ain't gonna be a man too long. I don't think. Right. Amen. Because, because, because everything been good. Amen. And we're we're in, swept through the city. Amen. Yeah, this and total all you shall be saved. That's enough, ain't it? <laughs> and Amen. So, so, so I'm just gonna tell you what he told me to tell you. Amen. Amen. If he don't tell me nothing, you'll know. <laughs> Amen. Let's get my uh, daughters. Grandchildren, a hand. Yeah. Amen. Thank God for them. Amen. I'm glad. She's raised up in the church. But that's how she was raised. Amen. When they get up grown, we hope they stay here. Amen. But if they don't, at least they've done what they're supposed to do. That's how we feel about her. We've done what we're supposed to do. Amen. Now she got grown, she made her own mind up. And I'm glad she chose to stay in Israel. Yeah. And raise no children in Israel. Yeah. Let me hear it. Come on, baby. Man. We rise, take your mind to the Holy Father, the King of all this earth. Sing praise to the God of this earth. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, yeah. for keeping me. Yeah. Well. I love you over all. You hear my call. Uh -huh. We praise you. We bless you, Lord.
Surely sing about you. I love the Lord. Ain't heard that in a long time. Amen. I go, I love the Lord. <laughs> I ain't gonna mess it up. Amen. But I love the Lord. <laughs> I love the Lord. I Selection. Amen. Um, God, it was good, ain't it? Yes. As I was saying, we 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 uh uh send send uh, our prayers all to the northern district, Los uh, Saginaw. Amen. Amen. They they going strong. Amen. They preaching good. Amen. And we want to let them know that we're with them. And everybody that lost loved ones along the way. Amen. That we're with you. Amen. We stand with you. Amen. Amen. And I'm going to uh, uh, give a little donation uh, uh, to the Saginaw Church because they had four funerals. And the church got some money, too. It ain't about that. About offering a little love token. Amen. Anybody want to follow me in that? They came when the deacons kept a little collection. Amen. So we can, I'm going to send it up there to Saginaw and say, this is from us. As a token, a love token. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Because they got some money. <laughs> it ain't about that. Amen. It's about offering a, a, a symbolism of love. Amen. I'm, I'm partial to Saginaw because that's where I come from. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I know where that's home. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And not everywhere. Yeah. Is it, is it? <laughs> All right. But in the bigger picture, everywhere I go in Israel is home. Right. Amen. But everybody came from somewhere. Amen. Isn't that right? Amen. So we'd like to say again to, to, to the members of Saginaw, you know, we love you. Amen. 
and all over Israel that have lost loved ones along the way, even here. Amen. And we stand with you. Amen. And the God of Israel is still able. Amen. And we still believe in life. Amen. Yeah, that's, I get every time something happens, people question. We ain't gonna change our teaching. <laughs> Amen. You either believe it or you don't. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you something. I don't know how long I'm gonna live. I, I want to live forever. Amen. Amen. But my life is in God's hand. Amen. Amen. And what I live, what I die, the God of Israel is still the God of Israel. Amen. Amen. Isn't that right? Amen. And I ain't worried about it either. Amen. I'm gonna take it one day at a time. That's all you got anyway. <laughs> breath by breath. Yeah. Moment by moment. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You, you breathe right now and you stop breathing, you finish. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. But while you live, you got to praise the God of Israel. The, the scripture says everything that have breath, let him praise the God of Israel. Amen. So we ought to praise the day, right? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And they got a son that said, I will believe, I testify. Well, I got a chance. You got a chance today to say, thank you, Lord, for waking me up this morning. Thank you, Lord, for bringing me this far, Holy Father. Thank you, Lord, for all the things that you've done for me. Amen. Ain't that right? Yeah. Amen. Therefore, in St. John 7, 8, it said, what? Believe on me. Amen. As the scripture said, then out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Out of you shall flow rivers of living water if you believe. Yeah, now the, the thing that blocks up is our belief. Right. Amen. And sometimes our belief get damned up because things don't always go like we want it. Right. Amen. But you got to keep on believing. Yeah. Keep on trusting them. Yeah. Keep on holding on to the God of Israel. It may not come, as my mama used to say, when you want it. But it's going to be on time. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank God for that. Therefore, I said what now? Let's get our lesson. Let's get our lesson. Start the Luke 18 chapter. 17th chapter. Amen. Start the first verse. Amen. That, that was Jesus talking to his disciples. Amen. Like I'm talking to mine. Amen. And then, then what, what, what he told the disciples, what I'm telling the disciples applies also to you as people. Amen. Because you got to be able to feed, forgive. And you got to be able to, you can't live in a fantasy world. Trouble will come. People will talk about you. People will reject you. People are going to do all kinds of things sometimes against you. But you still got to have love for God in them, in you. To be able to forgive, which means to let it go. Amen. Why well, hold on to something that can tear you down? Let it go. Amen. Some people got some hurt they still got from years. You need to turn it loose. Amen. So you can be free. Amen. Don't you want to be free? Amen. I'm talking about spiritually free. I'm not talking about this outside show free. I'm talking about spiritually free. When you're spiritually free, you're free inside. Amen. Amen. As I said before, amen. We, we still believe in the continuation of life. Amen. In the body. Amen. And if we lose the body, we just lost the body. Amen. But the hope still goes on. Amen. And our hope is the hope of eternal life. Amen. Which God cannot lie. Promise us before the world begins. That's our teaching in Israel. Ain't it? Amen. And we're going to hold on to that teaching. And then time my preacher have lost that teaching, bring me your license. Amen. Because we teach it. Living. Amen. And we don't change it. Amen. If we had to change it, we would have changed it when Dixon did. Amen. And Tumpkin and all the rest of them died. Amen. We would have changed it. If we ain't changing it, we? we're going to keep on holding on to our faith. And believe it in the God of Israel. And let the heaven that's in us be realized. So you know heaven is in you. Amen. And we fight to realize that heaven. The scripture said the kingdom of God is in you. And we want to live from that kingdom. Amen. And not try to die and go to it. The only way you got to die is die from your own self. Amen. You know who self is. You. <laughs> Amen. That boy said what? Look, don't try to kill yourself. Just die from yourself. In other words, die from your own thinking and the way you're thinking and let the spirit lead you. Amen. That's how you do it. Amen. Therefore, he said what now? Then said he unto the disciples. Jesus talking to his disciples now. Like I'm talking to my disciples in this generation. Amen. If they hear me. Amen. Then said Jesus unto the disciples. It is impossible. Uh, he talk, I'm talking to the disciples, but I'm also talking to you as members. Right. Amen. It's impossible. But that offense will come. Look. 
<laughs> I thought I said that word. <laughs> but I use what Ella Hawthorne said. Thing will happen. <laughs> Amen. A chapter before that, Jesus was taught, telling the disciples that people ain't going to hear you. And, and they had a prayer about somebody dying. We, we, and wanted one to come back from the dead and tell them. Jesus said, if, if one came back from the dead and told you, you still wouldn't believe it. Amen. So you kind of listen to the one that's here and not trying to listen to somebody from the dead. Amen. They, they want to hear Jesus and he's gone. And they want to hear the Jesus that's in bodies today. Same principle involved. Amen. Now he was talking to his disciples now. He told the disciples, it is impossible that offenses will come. Amen. But woe unto him. Amen. To the ministry. And then it to the members too. Amen. You got to preach this gospel. Amen. Regardless of what? Amen. And you got to preach it with the love of God in you. Amen. Because every, just because you got the truth, that don't mean people going to hear you. Just because you give your body to be burned, that don't, that don't mean people are going to appreciate you. Amen. And to the membership, people don't want to appreciate you either. Just because you, you're doing right. Amen. You don't care about you doing right sometimes. Amen. Offense is going to come. People ain't going to hear you sometimes. Amen. Y'all hear me? Amen. So you can't live in a, in a dreamland. I'm in the church. I'm in the life. Well, <laughs> amen. Well, offense is going to come. Amen. Amen. Everything ain't gonna be like you want it. Amen. People ain't gonna hear you. Amen. People don't want to accept you. Amen. But you can't let that stop you from being the Israelite. And a preacher can't stop let them stop them from preaching the word. Difficult people look at you cross-eyed. Preach it anyway. Amen. Therefore, say, woe to him with fish to come. Through whom they come. Make sure it don't come through you. Right. Amen. Talk to the preacher. At first, amen. A fish ain't gonna come, amen. But, but you have to make sure that you don't cause none, amen. Amen. You don't say and act the way that'll hurt somebody else, amen. Woe to him to whom they come, amen. It would better. It's better for a preacher, members too. I'm talking preachers now, amen. It's better for a millstone. We we'll hang about your neck, and he cast into the sea. And what? Then that he should offend one of these little ones. Amen. They ain't hurt nobody. And I'm going to tell you another thing. Amen. The preacher is a little one too. Amen. Amen. The greatest among you is your servant. Amen. And, and we're servants. Amen. And you, and, and, you, and you get the devil messing with us. Amen. Now, and the people will catch the devil messing with you. But Jesus was talking to his disciples, letting them know you got something to do. Amen. You got to preach the word in season and out of season. You got to love God's people regardless. Whether they hear you or whether they don't hear you, you still got to love them. Amen. Ain't that right? Well, I hope you understand that anyway. Amen. Yeah. Oh, God, it is able. People look at you like you're crazy. Amen. Amen. I judge you. Condemn you. Don't want to hear you. Amen. It's difficult you're preaching the gospel, that don't mean people going to hear what you got to say. Right. Amen. And you got to be ready for, to preach anyway. Yeah, yeah. Amen. And don't worry about it. God will take care of them. Yeah. Did I hear take care of us if it's us? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Ain't that right? So we got to be strong in the gospel. Yeah. Amen. Now, to the membership the same way. Yeah. Amen. It's difficult you, 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 you got some righteous. That don't mean people are going to hear you. Yeah. Amen. Offense is going to come. People are going to try to hurt your feelings. What you going to do about it? You're going to let it go. Forgive them if they ask you. Amen. If, if they don't ask you, don't take it personal. Love them anyway. Amen. A lot of times we, we can't overcome things, we take it too personal. Amen. They didn't wake you up. That's right. Amen. They ain't giving you life, to, life in your body. God doing it. Amen. So why should you hold them on them? Let God take care of it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Therefore, he said what now? Take heed to yourself. Preachers and members. Y'all got that relationship, right? You, he was talking to his, his disciples. Like I'm talking to mine. Yeah. Here and there. 
Take heed to yourselves. If thy brother trespass against thee. Look, if one of the brothers trespass against you or, 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 or do you wrong, rebuke him. Tell him. <laughs> Give me that. Ain't no wrong with that, is it? And it says you tell him in hell. They tell him, hey, look, you, you know you done me wrong? If they acknowledge it, forgive them. Amen. If they don't acknowledge it, don't you worry about it. God take care of it. Amen. But if they do it, it you know what? Really, what Jesus was teaching is nonviolence. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Don't, don't, don't run the evil for evil. Amen. Don't try to get nobody back. Amen. Let God take care of it. It's better for them a millstone tied around their neck and dropped in the seat than to hurt one of his little ones. And that goes for the priests as well as the members. Amen. Let God handle it. And you won't be going around with your head stuck up. Mouth all blown out because you're mad at somebody. Amen. It might make you mad. If you do make you mad, get glad quick. Amen. Overcome it. Amen. Just hear you say, why should two people pay for it? You and them. <laughs> Amen. Let one of you pay for it. Amen. If they actually forgive it, forgive. Let it go, in other words. Amen. I can't let it go. Well, you're holding yourself down. Amen. I heard somebody say this morning, forgiveness is for you. Amen. You help yourself out when you're able to forgive. Amen. That's why I said what? If you trespass against me seven times in a day. If you do it seven times in a day. And seven times in a day turn again and say to thee, I repent. What? Thou shalt forgive me. Can you do it? Yeah, you can do it. Amen. The seven times is really for illustration. Somebody say endless. Who, who said this more? You endless forgiveness. Amen. You shouldn't hold nothing. You should be able to let it go. Right? Now, sometimes reading the scripture, we get unrealistic expectation of things. It, it you ain't gonna happen that way, no way. But the point we're being made is you gotta forgive. Amen. And I'll say in order to live, you gotta forgive. Amen. And let it go. Amen. That problem thing, people hold in this church right now, people holding a thing on somebody that done them wrong years ago. Why are you still holding it? Let it go. Amen. Let them pay for it. Not, not you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Ain't that right? Yeah. So, so we gotta examine ourselves. Yeah. Amen. One, one scripture said it's 70 times seven, did it somewhere? Now look, something is for illustration. In other words, you you could always be willing to forgive. Yes. Amen. You guys got that? Now I doubt very seriously if I'm gonna do something wrong with you 80 times or 70 times. But 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 if for illustration, amen. We ain't got that much time in the day, really. In fact, we ain't gonna be around them that much time. Amen. Amen. Y'all you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. It's for illustration. He was trying to tell them how their character should be as they go about preaching the gospel. And I'm telling you how we all should be as we go about dealing with God's people. Because, because you can't expect. I mean, it's, it just. Offense is going to come. Right. Amen. Things going to happen. Right. Amen. It happens in your home, on the church, on your job, on the street. Everywhere things sometimes happen. Right. Amen. But what you, how you going to react to it? That's the lesson he was trying to tell his disciples. You got to be strong and preach the gospel anyway. Amen. You don't let it stop you because if you let it stop you, then you do. And you make sure the thing that the people is trying to do to you, don't you quite do it to them. Amen. Amen. What else it say? And the apostles said unto the Lord. Look what they said to him. Help us. Amen. I guess I can say that too. 77 times 7? Forgive them? Increase my faith. Yeah. That's what it takes. It takes faith to keep do what you need to do righteously. So, amen. And that's why they asked Jesus to increase. They, they, they didn't ask Jesus to help me to do it. They just said, help us increase our faith. Because faith is going to take us through. Faith and believe that the God of Israel will take care of the situation. Amen. And if you got that faith, you can let everything, anything go. Amen. But you got to have faith in it. Faith in the God of Israel. That, and trust the God of Israel that he will work it out for you. Amen. Y'all hear me? Amen. Amen. People may come against you. They may come against you. 
people may hate you, people may dislike you, but you got to trust in God really, that he will work it out and not you try to figure it out. Amen. So, so if we try to do it ourselves, we're going to mess up. We become a judge. Amen. And vengeance is mine, the scripture said. God said, I'll repay. So we can't pay anybody. Amen. So he, he was telling me, disciples, and it, it applies to all of us. Amen. You just got to keep on preaching the word. Amen. Keep on teaching. Amen. Keep on loving God's people. Keep on forgiving. Amen. And the members got to do the same thing. So it goes for all of us. Although he was talking to those disciples, like I'm talking to disciples today, wanting to preach the gospel. Amen. Think folks ought to hear what you got to believe you. They, people ain't got to believe you. They ain't got to believe me. But they ain't going to stop preaching. They ain't going to stop teaching. I ain't going to stop loving. Amen. I'm going to keep on going on. Amen. And the one that believe, I'm going to preach to them. The one that don't believe, I'm going to preach to them too. Amen. Amen. Ain't that right? And, and, and love them anyway. Amen. You come back, bitch, will you forgive me? Yeah, I forgive you. Amen. I forgive you because I don't want to hold on me. And you forgive people because you don't want to be held, held on you. Now, the God of Israel is the one going to pay. And not you. Amen. Amen. Ain't that right? Do you understand what I'm saying? Say? Ministry first. He was talking to the disciples. Amen. And sometimes disciples is sometimes worse off than the people. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Don't want to, don't want to. Amen. Preach hard. Preach hard. And people look at you like you're crazy. And then you'll get mad at the people because they didn't want to hear you. <laughs> Offense is going to come. But you preach the gospel, preach the word anyway. Amen. Amen. And, 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 and the same thing with the membership. Amen. Offense is going to come in your life too. Amen. But you keep on holding on. Keep on loving. Amen. If a brother or sister do you wrong, amen, tell them about it. Not cuss them out. Amen. Just, hey, baby, you stepped on my toe. Oh, hey, baby, I heard you loud on me. Yeah. And they said, look, forgive me. I forgive them. Now, it ain't, it ain't for you to determine whether they meant it or not. Amen. But some people don't mean it at first. Amen. They just saying it to get you off. Amen. But you accept them because the God of Israel is the one going to take care of it. Amen. Y'all understand what I'm trying to say? Then, then you won't have no undue burden on yourself. Amen. Try to pay folks off. Won't God forgive you, and yet you won't forgive? All that kind of stuff. Amen. Forgive it. Let it go. Forgive means to let go. Amen. So let it go. Will y'all forgive me? I hope you did. But if you didn't, it ain't my worry. You see? <laughs> Amen. What I'm what I supposed to do is ask you. If I did it, amen. Or you tell me I did it. And people have told me I did it, and I didn't think I did do it, but I said, ask, forgive me anyway. That's right. Amen. Because that's the kind of love you got to have. Amen. None violent. <laughs> yeah. None vengeance. None payback. Amen. Don't you want to be free? Amen. It's, it's more to do it than just run right the mouth. Amen. They ain't going to come into your life to, to, to make you grow. Amen. Yeah. Scripture says, whom the Lord loves, be chastised. Yeah. And someone don't want to be chastised by nobody, not even God. <laughs> One thing about it, you're going to get it anyway. Amen. Not because he hates you, because he loves you. Amen. And you do, you do not determine your whooping. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I ain't right. I want God to, to, to chain me, but I'm going to tell God how to do it. Did you tell your mom and daddy how to whoop you? They whoop you with a belt, their hand, or whatever they wanted to do. It was, it was that prerogative, ain't it? Yeah. So it's God's prerogative to, to change us and help us, too, to be what we need to be. Amen. Amen. Now, this kind of stuff don't make you shout, but it make you think. Yeah. Amen. You want to be happy and you'll be free inside? Then, then leave things alone and let God handle it. Amen. Yeah, Bishop. Look, I ain't say you ain't got to tell God. 
But once you tell him, let him, let him handle it. Amen. Amen. Ain't that right? Amen. Well, I'm telling you what God loves, which is the truth. Amen. They ain't mad either. Amen. I love you because I tell you this. Amen. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, if somebody do you wrong, tell them. Somebody told me, I'll go back. You walked by me and didn't even speak to me. <laughs> Baby, I didn't see you, really. <laughs> But forgive me, I didn't mean to. Because that ain't like me. Amen. And it ain't. Amen. But sometimes your mind be elsewhere. And you may walk by somebody like that. Now I didn't get no attitude because they said that. I said, forgive me, because I didn't know it. It wasn't intentional. Amen. If it was intentional, you would have knew it. <laughs> Amen. But sometimes things just happen that way, right? Amen. Sometimes your mind be elsewhere. Amen. And, 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 and you walk by somebody or you don't say things the right, proper way. If they remind you of it, forgive me. Unless you intend to be the devil. Amen. 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 It, it, it's all about our intention. Amen. And how we relate and how we interact with one another. Right? Now, just like Jesus was instructing his disciples how they should be, how they should forgive, let them know that things going to happen. Offenses are going to come. They ain't going to come in and out of your life. But you got to hold on to the God of Israel. Amen. And make sure it's not you. It. Amen. We don't put a stumbling block in our brother and sister's way so they may fall. Uh, then we're going to pay for it. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Same thing with you as memberships. Amen. How we relate to one another is very important. And we don't call anybody to fall by our foolishness. Amen. And if it happens to get wrong, ask for forgiveness. And if somebody happens to do you wrong, be mad or woman or another, tell them. Rebuke, and that is, ain't, ain't going to cuss nobody out. It's just telling them. Brother Fulbear, you did me wrong. Will you forgive me? And if she had said no, I said, okay, thank you. I just wanted to ask you. See? At the people way, ain't it? Or she asked me the same thing, you know. Bishop! She got on me sometimes. <laughs> Forgive me. I didn't mean it. Well, you're all right. Amen. It's over. See? Amen. All right. That's enough, I guess. Amen. Yeah, that's enough. Amen. Amen. A lot of uh, lessons we have is not that mystical. It's just getting along. It's to learn how to forgive one another. Learn how to how, how to not hold things on one another. Amen. Right? So Jesus teaches disciples. I'm teaching disciples. Amen. He taught forgiveness. We're teaching forgiveness. We teach he taught back then that offenses are gonna come. Amen. I don't care how righteous you are. Sometimes things will happen. Yeah, Amen. And you got to still be able to hold on and be strong. Amen. And stop going off into pity. Come on, pull me. What about you? Amen. But things going to happen sometime, right? Amen. Yeah. But that ain't the end of the world. It shouldn't be. Ain't that right? Sometimes people get, we get, get, get uh, I got sick. And? Get well. I mean, what's the alternative? Worry yourself crazy or fight to get well? I ain't got no money. Try to get some. Or know somebody you can get some from. <laughs> There's always a solution. Amen. Don't get stuck. Amen. But if you get stuck, your life stays where you are. Amen. Amen. That's the same thing with forgiveness. I mean, if you can't forgive and you hold it and hold it and hold it, guess, guess who got it? You. Amen. If a person never come back and ask you to forgive them, you let it go anyway. Amen. Amen. Because what they do says something about them. What you do says something about you. Amen. Amen. You be happy. Live. Be happy. And the best you can. It don't make no sense. Because to live 
the, the short life we got and waiting to die and go get another life. And God gave you one. Amen. Amen. Living and be happy. Amen. All right. I'm preaching to the choir, they say. <laughs> Amen. Well, I got to tell you what he gave me. whole lesson is about interaction, how we interact with one another. Amen. How, how, how we're able to be able to let things go. We just make sure it's not us. Make sure you're, you're not the same thing you're accusing other folks of. That's it. Amen. Amen. That's it. And sometimes that happens. Yes, Amen. We become what we dislike in others. Amen. Amen. And still to realize it's me. <laughs> Amen. Standing in need of prayer. Amen. It's me, oh Lord. Yeah, I need to raise my, my head up and be happy. Amen. And let things go. Amen. And forgive. Not, not another thing. People say, I tell you what, if I say, forgive me, that means I did something to somebody else, right? Right? Okay. Now, if I did it to me, can I ask myself to forgive me? Yes. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. If I can forgive me for my foolishness, I have an excuse to do what I want to do and forgive myself for it. All right, then. Amen. I kill you. Well, I forgive myself. <laughs> Amen. We operate on a higher spiritual law. Amen. Ain't that right? Amen. Now I'm going to slap, we'll go ahead and slap Derek side of the head. Well, Lord, I forgive myself. He probably, he probably needed, needed, but I forgive myself for doing it. Derek, I forgive myself for hitting you. Will you forgive me? No. Well, I forgive myself. It don't work that way. Amen. Amen. There's a, there's a higher law, you know. If, if I did it to me, I got to ask the God of to forgive me. Amen. Otherwise, I can excuse any action I take. Just forgive myself. Amen. I don't like you, and I forgive myself because you ain't no good no way. Amen. We're governed by a higher law. God is our governor. It's a higher spiritual law. Otherwise, people do what they want to do. And forgive themselves for it. Amen. Now, you got to, you got to, whatever we do anyway, it's against, it's against God. Amen. It is against God's laws and God's principles. Amen. So, so if I mess it up, who I got to ask forgiveness for? It might not be another body. Amen. I got to appeal to the higher power of God. Amen. Amen. I got to ask God in me, Lord, forgive me. Amen. And then God will, will not convict me in, 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 inside and I feel forgiven. Amen. I can't go right here and knock you side of the head and say, I'll forgive myself for doing it. I got to ask the higher power to forgive me. If I, if I did it to an individual, then I go ask that individual. Right. Amen. Right. Understand that. Yes. I'm going to forgive myself. Well, did you do it to yourself? Yeah, you did it to God. Right. Amen. Really? Amen. Amen. Ain't no getting around it. Because of the fact that we worship a higher power. And we're governed. Every soul is subject to the higher power. Amen. Naturally so, and spiritually so. The higher power in this church today on the natural side is me. Amen. Amen. I know that kind of. Yes, that is too. The higher power in the United States of America is Biden. Bless his soul. Amen. Right. And some black folks done got Democratic crazy. Amen. Amen. Time now to be vote according to our own spirit and not because somebody tell us to do it. Amen. Amen. That's another sermon. But, but we, can't, we, we, can't, we can't escape our own responsibility by trying to forgive ourselves for the thing we've done to somebody else or the thing we've done to our own selves. We've got to ask the God of Israel to forgive us. Amen. Amen. Conviction comes from within. Godly sorrow comes from within. Amen. Say it again. God, listen. <laughs> Amen. Y'all understand what I'm saying? 
Now, there are people may not agree with that, but that's okay. I ain't going to change. Amen. Because there's no excuse. You know, I can make an excuse for anything I want to do. All I got to do is just forgive myself. I don't like him. Well, I'm going to forgive myself. I don't tell him. I ain't going to tell him. And I'm going to say it inside. Yeah. But God is. Do you know the scripture says every single man do is without the body? Amen. Amen. So you got to watch what you're thinking. That was, that's some of the teaching that Jesus had. Watch what you're thinking. Yeah, right. Amen. Amen. I'm going to say some things, but ain't. Got my grandchildren in the house. No. <laughs> But it's all about us, ain't it? The individuals. Get right, church, and let's go on. Who are we going to get right? I don't say Right? We really can't get other folks right. I can't get you right. I can help influence you, give you the words. But you got to accept the word, and you make that change. Amen. Amen. Ain't that right? Do you, do you know how hard it is for you to change you? <laughs> how hard do you think it is to change somebody else? Amen. But all we can do is give us your word, right? We help one another, right? Amen. And that's what we're supposed to do as people, help one another. Amen. All right. So that's where I stand. Go and ask me that. Can I forgive myself? Who you do it to? I, I, I dirty myself. I, now I can forgive myself. Now you ask God to help you forgive you. Amen. Because otherwise, like I said, we, 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 we rub out excuses all the time. Amen. We are responsible for our own action. Amen. And we, and we, and we ask our maker to forgive us. Amen. And sometimes that maker is somebody else. Amen. Amen. Sometimes people become your door. Like I, I'm, I'm a lot of folks' doors. Amen. They don't want to come through me, so I'm their door. <laughs> Amen. Right. And I don't even want to be. Right. Right. Amen. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> but sometimes we set, we set blocks up in our lives because we hold things on people. And now we're going to let it go. Amen. Forgive people. Let them pay for it. Why you got to pay for it? Amen. All right, I know it can be mind-boggling sometimes because it deals with the individual. If they come back to me or you, amen. If whatever excuse I may have, I don't have now because it's me and it's you. Amen. You choose your path in life. Therefore, you eat the fruit of it. Amen. amen. Or we eat the fruit of it. Amen. But God is merciful, ain't he? Amen. He's the on-time God. Amen. Yes, he is. Amen. And I want to be free myself. That's why I try to tell myself the truth to myself. And I try to fool myself. And that's why I always talk about being self-righteous, folks. Amen. 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 You and I are brothers and sisters. Amen. Same father, the God of Israel. Amen. And the same God will forgive me and forgive you. The same God will look over my fault or look over yours. The same evil that will get you will get me. Amen. Give me a hand. Quit. <laughs> Amen. All right. May God bless you. I, I didn't mean to go. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I, said, I didn't mean to go on and on and on, but yes, I did. Amen. I looked at the clock. And I said to myself, I ought to quit. But I didn't. Because I wanted, to, I wanted to say what I had to say. Amen. All right. Because I thought in my own thinking, and I believe it was God thinking, that what I had to say was put some thoughts in your head. So you can act on it yourself. I can't do it for you. You got to do it. Now you're clean through the that's what we got to do it, the words. Amen. 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 God forgive us all. Amen. May God bless you. May he keep you. May we not fear the virus, but fear God. Amen. Y'all hear me?
He will now trust in the scientists, but trust in the God of Israel. Amen. Amen. He will now trust in ourselves, but trust in the higher power within ourselves, which is the God of Israel. Amen. Amen. Ask you to place your feet on the floor. And to demonstrate the outcome to us, which is. Any volunteer? Okay. Well, I to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, to be the demonstrator, being very thankful my theology teachers, Bishop Sidney L. Smith, and Queen Reverend Bride, Mother Andy B. Hayward, and my instructor was Bishop Robin Hayward. So I'm going to ask you to place your hands in a receiving manner. I want you to sing the demonstration song, but I want you to sing it from your heart. I want you to sing it because whatever it is that you need, I'm not asking for no more. It's what you need at this moment. Ask the God of Israel for it so that you can receive it, but you must believe it in order to achieve it. So let's sing. Let him children, a demonstration was given here today for you, so I want you to please be obedient to your parents. Mm -hmm. If you leave, make sure you tell the truth, and everything will be well with you, because times is real, it's not like what they used to be. Mm -hmm. Everybody trying to get something for nothing. Mm -hmm. So be careful. Mm -hmm. Make sure you let them know where you are at all times. And to the family of Israel, let us repent and live. Things may come, but it don't mean it has to take you away from here. You've got to be strong. How can you know you can make it if you can't go through the storm and whatever the storm vision them say? How can you make it if you can't stand the test? Thank you. Thank you, our demonstrator. Amen. And demonstration. Amen. They take heed to the word. Ha! That's all right. Can you say? He is the captain of the line. If you can make it. I'd like to say to tip number one, deacons, brothers and sisters, this afternoon after church is over, we're going to go upstairs and do a little work. Those that got time to do it, just come on up there. Starting on Monday, as the deacon said, uh, from 10 o'clock to 8 o'clock. You see? We're going to have two shifts down here. And some people can make it in the morning, and some people can make it in the evening. There's a lot of work to be done. 
We need you to come down and help support what's going on in the church. This is a job for all of us can do, male and female. So on, uh, on, on Monday, we have a group down here on Monday. It started at 10 o'clock. And then we got some coming in the afternoon. I think that's the hit by Deacon uh, Matthew. Amen. And, and, and uh, I think uh, those are on, on, on the first shift, when you get out of work, come on back. And, uh, and, and put a little time in down here. We got some, we got some dusting, got some, some a lot to be done that, that male and female can do. So we want you to be committed to come down here on the days that you can down, come down here and then do some work, okay? Uh, so it's going to begin Monday, the MLK day, you call it. Amen. A lot goes off work. Amen. So y'all come on down and help support the church and in, in clean it up and getting it ready. No, we do want to be back upstairs doing our February drive. All right? The February drive will begin on Wednesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And close out on Sunday. There will not be any Kings and Queen Ball this year. Amen. We'll let you know what's going to happen on that Saturday. Uh, at a, at, in next week or so. But, uh, but our, 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 our February drive will be Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. And we'll let you know what's going to happen Saturday, if anything. Okay? All right, King. Okay. So we need commitments from, from the church members now. All of them, male and female. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be down here some, every day next week, on, on Monday through Friday, through Saturday, we'll be down here working two shifts. We have a, two people that have been, have been committed to work down here. And we got some more that say they're going to work. So be a part of the, our work cycle. First and second shift. All right? Next week, it begins on Monday. We can go upstairs after church today and do something upstairs today. Uh, uh, get your get you, get you, get you suit and, and your dress is dirty. No, not really. But there is something we can all do. Okay? We want it to be a shared experience for all of us. So when it comes time for our uh, February drive, when I get up and thank the God of for all the membership that have paid a part in this, I want you to be a part of it. Amen. Because I want to know who you are. Okay? So let's do this together. We've come a long ways. I'd like to thank all the men and the, and the few ladies that have been coming down uh, every Wednesday for the last three weeks or four weeks or so. Uh, working down here, we've been doing a lot of work down here, as you can see. But now it's crush time. We gotta get some carpet, we gotta get, get it painted, we gotta get the bathroom fixed, we gotta get the doors, we gotta dust. There's a lot of things that we can do that all of us can do. Okay? Monday, 10 o'clock. If you can't come Monday morning, come in the evening. Spend a couple hours down here. All of it will help. Okay? So we need your support. Yeah. Monday, there's a funeral, so it's a little off the now. So I'm going to be able to make it down here on Monday. But the rest of the time, we will be. So we're certainly asking all of us to come in and support. We have some, uh, uh, like I said, Dick and uh, uh, Matthew is, is, a, is a team leader for the second shift. Amen. And, uh, and uh, Dick and Andre, where are you at? Right here. The first shift. If you can't come first shift, come second shift. Come and spend a little time down here. And we're not asking for all your time, but you can spend some time, right? And we spit it up so that the, uh, no one have an excuse as far as I'm working all day. Well, you work days, you come in the evening. You work second shift, you come in the morning. You work third shift, you come in time that day after you get a nap. Or come before you go to nap. Amen. All next week. So we're going to be here next week. So please, ma'am, please, sir. And you're not too young, and you're not too old. Amen. Yeah, you can walk in here and pick up a piece of paper. Do something. Okay? So I'm asking you. Let, all, let this be a shared experience as we prepare our church for our February drive. Otherwise, the only alternative is to take it to the farm. And I don't want to do that. And I'm not going to do that. <laughs> it's going to be right here. Amen. And, and, and have it right here at tip number one. 
but we, we but we do need support, right? We don't need critics. We need workers. All right. So please, ma'am, and please, sir, men, ladies, gentlemen. Amen. We need your support. Whatever you can do. All right. You pick the time you want to come down, and we'll have somebody down here to show you what to do. Amen. Now, Mother Helen had developed a task list, and I like that. Amen. Now, we, we, that just give us a, some uh, guidelines of what we need to do. Amen. Amen. All right. And so uh, I think I'm thankful I'm going to be down here every day. Amen. All right. Amen. 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 And I'm thanking God for that. Thank Him for Him. Uh, we all need to come down and support the church. Okay? All of us. All right, all right I guess that's enough. She is, yeah, she's here. <laughs> so we, 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 we really need to keep the momentum going. It's really crunch time, okay? And the digging pits, I think uh, by the time we get to that, 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 how you spray the church, we're going to do that again. Now, this, 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 this cold, we go around the car, I'm a corn. It's not as, 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 as the other one were. Yeah, man. The symptom is not as, unless you've got, uh, uh, what do you call it, an other thing going on with you. Yeah, man. But, but uh, if you get it, you overcome it. Yeah, man. Amen. All right. Thank you. Take, take your vitamin C's and your, and your zinc and your, mm -hmm. a lot of fluids and stuff like that. You, you'll be all right. Did right. not your heart be trouble. Amen. Amen. Wear your mask, something like that. Take yourself, but don't, don't let it stop you. Right. Amen. 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 All right. Don't, don't let it put fear in you that way. Right. Amen. <coughs> we're going we're gonna to respect it by doing something we need to do, but we're going to be scared. Right. All right. All right, so may God bless you. And remember what I said, this, too. You can't overcome. Amen. Yeah, if you happen to get the cold. Right. All right? Yeah. And everybody that get a cold, don't get pneumonia. Right, right, right. Okay. May God bless you. They keep it. Now, I'm going to turn it back in the hand of our sister pastor, and we'll move on from here. Amen. Yeah, All right, thanks. All right. Can I rise and get on the Holy Father, the King of all living? Let's give our King another hand. Amen. 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 Take up the delicious for second off. Arise to give honor to the Holy Father, King of all this. Here, turn this mic off. Now let's try that again. Arise to give honor to the Holy Father, King of all this. Read that to the announcements. Ladies, Reverend Mother Barbara still says she wants to meet with you after service. But don't go running between your cars without seeing her. And Andre wants to meet with the men. And so on and so forth. To all pastors and members and friends, I'm writing you this letter to let you know just how much I appreciate your trust and confidence in me as it relates to the Israel Garden Activity Center and its development. I know we've had some trying times in the last couple of years, but somehow the God of Israel has brought us through. Remember that we must obey and trust in the God of Israel for we will pass through the waters and he will be with us. And when we walk through the fire, we will not be burned, neither will the flame kill upon us. 
We thank you for supporting the November Fellowship after expenses were taken out. We were left with $10,115. Thank you, Bishop Bobby J. Davis, King of All Israel. Thank you. Thank you. Instruction of Mother for Tuesday, the 18th, is Mother Alice for Friday the 21st, and Reverend Mother Barbara. Okay. Tuesday night, January the 18th, the speaker, Reverend Rakia Donaldson, and the minister in charge is Elder Thomas Willie. Serving in